for purity. All life died. To you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. first reading is a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Now the whole group of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and no one claimed private ownership of any possessions, but everything they owned was held in common. With great power, the Apostles gave their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. And there was not a needy person among them, for as many of them lands or houses sold them and bought, brought the proceeds of what was sold. They laid it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to each as any had need. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
second reading is a reading from the first letter of John. We declare to you what was from the beginning, what we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we have looked at and touched with our hands concerning the word of life. This life was revealed, and we have seen it and testified to it, and declare to you the eternal life that was with the Father and was revealed to us. We declare to you what we have seen and heard, so that you also may have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. We are writing these things so that our joy may be complete. This is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you, that God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him while we are walking in darkness, we lie and do not do what is true. But if we walk in the light as he himself is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus his son cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he who is faithful and just will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the atoning sacrifice for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Christ according to John. Glory Glory to you, Lord Christ. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After this, he said, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger in the mark of the nails, and my hand in his side, I will not believe. A week later his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them, and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through believing you may have life in his name. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Christ. Christian, he thought that she had lost her mind. 
So he set out to prove that her faith was based on myth, lies, and superstition. His journalistic investigation, give me the facts only, led to his own conversion, and he has since authored several books dealing with his findings. The Case for Christ, which became a movie in 2017, The Case for Grace, The Case for Grit or Faith, and The Case for Christianity. We might like to think that most of us don't need proofs. Instead, factual scientific evidence may seem to distract from our faith. Yet even the most faithful Christians have doubts from time to time. So the good news of the gospel this morning is that doubt is not the opposite of faith. Doubt is the second emotion of Easter. God will address our doubts because God wants to prove God's self to us. The opposite of faith is not doubt. The opposite of faith is apathy. Apathy, or what is listed in the seven deadly sins as sloth, that attitude of, I don't care. I don't care if there's a God. I don't care if Jesus is the Son of God. I don't care if he died and rose again. I just don't care. Apathy precludes engagement. It bars us from relationship. It provides no place in our soul for faith to take hold. It takes courage to doubt and then pursue those doubts. And when we do, God will engage with us on our terms, just as he did for Thomas and for Lee. Blessed indeed are those who have not seen and yet believe. And blessed indeed are those who doubt and have the courage to challenge their doubts. For theirs too is the kingdom of heaven. If you doubt this, just ask the Christians of St. Thomas in India. Alleluia. Amen. Let us stand and affirm the faith with the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten and not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken to the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Rejoicing in the mighty acts of God who has delivered his people from sin and death through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, let us lift our voices and pray, Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Let us give thanks to God for the multitude of blessings he showers upon us, for our lives and for those whom we love, for the beauty of this earth God has created for us, for our families and our friendships, and for sustaining us through the pandemic. Let us give thanks to the God of life. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the church that it may continue to carry forward the redemptive works of God. 
for our clergy and our bishops, for the many lay people who serve the church and serve the world through the church, and for those gathered through worship and prayer. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who have been baptized, that the joy of Easter may ever grow within them, and that the Spirit may guide them in lives of active faith. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the nations and peoples of the world, that the powers that oppress and destroy may decline, and that justice, peace, and prosperity be lifted up. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who are sick, those who suffer, and those who struggle, especially those we now name. That the hope born of Easter may give them peace, acceptance, and renewal, and that through their struggles they may come into closer communion with the God who redeems and restores. Risen Lord, Hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who have died, that they may share in the joy of Christ's resurrection. Risen Lord, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. O God, who by the glorious resurrection of your Son Jesus Christ destroyed death and brought life and immortality to life, grant that we who have been raised with him may abide in his presence and rejoice in the hope of eternal glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be dominion and praise forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And now be with you. Please be seated. Good morning, everyone. A few announcements. This service is pre-recorded. I am on vacation. Hopefully the sun is shining in Florida and it is warm and lovely. And I hope that you all have some rest and relaxation. There is no in-person service this morning, Sunday, um, but we will resume next week when I return. The week after that is our feast day, the feast day of St. Mark's, and we will have a special regathering service after the pandemic shutdown. We will have our service outdoors, weather permitting. Uh, it is also Good Shepherd Sunday, so we will be uh, joined by sheep as sheep dogs. Um, bring a chair. Uh, if you want to have a lounge chair, bring yourself and come and reintroduce yourselves to us and let us have a wonderful time of regathering. Any other announcements? If, oh, we sent out postcards for that event. If you did not get one, please call the church office to make sure that we have your current address. Uh, we are trying to update our mailing list, so if you did not get a postcard, please let us know. Otherwise, please join us on the 25th for a wonderful celebration of St. Mark's Feast Day. Now let us walk in love as Christ loved us, and this is how he loved us. He gave himself as an offering and a sacrifice to God.
The Lord be with you. And now with you. Lift up your hearts. You to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. Give him thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. But chiefly are we bound to praise you for the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. For he is the true Paschal Lamb, who was sacrificed for us, and has taken away the sin of the world. By his death he has destroyed death, and by his rising to life again he has won for us eternal life. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us speak the peace. Alleluia. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you, and feed on them in your hearts by faith.
the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you now and remain always. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 